hello friends and welcome to my youtube channel so today i'll be teaching you how to build the scroll code component with just html and css it's a fully responsive component as we can see from this view so without much i do let's get right into the video on my left side i have vs code opened and the only file i currently have is the crowd code image let's start by creating an index.html file and a style.css file in our index.html file we can generate a boilerplate code by using the exclamation mark we can change our title to curl code component to preview your code you can use the live server extension if you don't have it installed, you can just go to the extensions tab and then look for live server and install it. So after installing the live server, you can right click and choose open with live server. So we realize that we currently have a blank HTML document. Let's start by creating a div with a class of container. But before that, before we do anything else, let's link our styles sheet to our HTML with the link tag. In our div with a class of container, let's create another div with a class of image container. And insect our image into it. Yeah. So we can see that our image is really huge over here. To style it, let's head into our CSS file and first remove all the default margins and paddings. And let's set our box size into border box. Let's center everything in our page by using display grid and place item center. Let's reset our default font size to 15 pixels. And let's add a main height of 100 viewport height. So we can see that our content is actually in the center of our page. But the image is still huge. So let's start by styling our container. So let's select our container and give it a fixed width of 18.5 rem. Let's give it a border radius of 1 rem. Yeah, something like this. And let's give it a background of white. But I realize that our white background is not visible. So let's give our body a background of hexadecimal hash D six E to F zero. Yeah. But we still realize that our image is overflowing our container. So let's select our image container, the div with the class image container. And let's give it a width of 100% and a fixed height of 15 rem. Let's give it an overflow of hidden. And now realize our image is perfectly centered in our container. But then it's still not looking good. So let's target the actual image in the image container and give it a width of 100%, a height of 100%, and an object fit of cover. Now I realize our image is perfectly centered, but we can't see our container. So let's add a pattern of one rem top. One rem left and right, and two rem for the bottom. And now we can perfectly see our container. Let's give some border radius to our image. Doing border radius of 0.5 rem. So now we can see that our image has some nice border radius. Let's come to our index.html file and add our content. So Let's create a different class of content and within it, create an H2 and put the following text 
already have my test copy to the clipboard so I can paste it here. Let's just create a paragraph and then do the following text. Now let's start these two elements that's our h2 and our paragraph. Let's target our content and give it a text align of center. Now let's target our h2 in the content and give it a color of hash 1f3251 that's a dark blue color and let's give it a margin button of one rem let's target our paragraph and give it a color of 7d8 Seven nine D. Yeah. Let's give our body a font family of outfit and an alternative of sans serif. Great. So we realize that our crowd code component is looking great and is fully responsive on mobile devices guys so this is what i have for you today if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this